What's up YouTube, it's your boy Dashing and this is week 7 of the TPL Draft League. I am one of the coaches of Alliance and this week we take on Luca and the PGA Pecho Frio squad. His team consists of Dizzy, Toxtricity Amped, Preselia, Mega Septile, Morpico, Macrosma Dusk, Rotom Wash, Hatterene, Rabut, Regigigas. Luca is one of the best players in the league and has a scary team. His score of Lissy and Necrozma Dusk is hard to break, as well as having Pivot Mons in Morpico, Rotom, Toxtricity, and Raboot. Atarine also to bounce hazards, as well as status moves. Raboot has been looking like a very good Max Mon with Libero. Really bridges the gap. Uh, it would rather lack in damage. This is probably our toughest match in the sense I have no idea what to build on Arceus. Which is saying something because you know Arceus has like a wide move pool. But I really wish it had like bulk up and pivot moves. But you know some would say that would be too busted if that's the case. Um, and as well as you know my team having a big limitation in um, item choices we have like six ones that are mostly gonna be locked into a set item and the other four months are very uh, sit situational so let's go ahead and check out our team builder our first mon here kevin's durant our typical set uh we have enough speed here to outspeed i believe the more pico uh max attack the rest in hp we have lumberry just in case we get um, paralyzed or burn so that's possibly with the Rotom and the Blissey I would imagine Some, maybe even the what do you call this Necrozma Dusk because he, he's been known to run like T-Wave on that mon as well so we have 4 attacks here 1 for speed, for attack, ground and Exisor Exisor is actually really good this matchup it hits a lot of his mons like I don't think he has a uh, bug resist which is you know saying something I guess the Raboot but you know Raboot doesn't really want to switch into an attack anyway and uh, that's uh, where Durant our next mon Megaltaria so standard set as well EQ EQ return DD and we have heal bell as our fourth move um, I was thinking of running what do you call this Paris Song just in case he runs like a cosmic power set but I thought Heal Bell would be good because we are gonna be um, we do have a lot of potential to get status here so I think Heal Bell would neuter that well we have enough speed here to I'm not really sure what this speed is supposed to accomplish honestly I think this is for the I think it's supposed to outspeed max speed adamant um necrozma dusk so that's it we have our rcs here now this is this is definitely the mon that we had the hardest time deciding over i i kind of wanted sword dance because we needed to boost in case he is gonna be running like a like a setup bulk set i don't know if it has it probably has uh it has cosmic power definitely I'm not sure if it has bulk up, maybe it does. Um, we have EQ, cause EQ hits all of his mons. Iron Head to hit the resisting mons like, um, what do you call this? The Sceptile, and as well as the Hatterin Hard, and Sub. Sub is to just avoid the status conditions. Now the issue here is, we have nothing for Rotom, and I think that's a huge problem. But I'm hoping that our other mons can deal with the Rotom before um, Arceus has to play. But so yeah, that could work well and um, a disadvantage for us. Our next mon here, our free Alex type null. Standard Eviolite set, we have enough bulk to, you know, live like probably two, two um, plus one attacks from the necrozma if it's adamant we have roar here just to phase it out u-turn for pivot um thunder wave to you know 
get some hacks in our favor. And we have Punishment. Punishment is actually supposed to do good damage if he is running, let's say, um, if it's running like a, what do you call that set? A Dragon Dance set and is in range after, let's say, two boosts, we could deal about, I don't know, 30 to 40, maybe even 45, 50%, depending on its bulk investment. And our last mon here will be our asshole Latins, the Hoopa Unbound. We are running Choice Band this week. Um, the attacks here are, don't really matter. We're most likely just gonna go Fury and Knockoff. Max attack, enough speed to... Well, I just went ahead and gave it max speed. But it's just generally to outspeed the Necrozma. Because that's our main concern. I, I'm expecting him to bring Blissey, Mega Sceptile, Necrozma Dusk, Rotom Wash, Hatterene, and Rabbit. He could bring the Morpico over the Sceptile since Banded Aura Wheel does a ton to my team. And gaining speed, and since I'm not bringing any, uh, or I'm not bringing the Toad, I have no answers to it. But let's see what he brought. Alright, so it looks like he brought exactly what we expected. Now the tricky part here is we don't know what he will lead, so I'm thinking he'll probably lead the Rotom or the Hatterene. Now, I I really plan to lead the Silvalli, but I just thought maybe the Hoopa would be nice if we can get like a Fury on uh, the Rotom or the Hatterene or whatever switches in, because nothing will s switch in uh, comfortably uh, if that's the case. Let's go ahead and lead. So we have um, the Rotom and the Hoopa. So as you can see, if he Vault switches here, the Mon coming in will take huge damage. If it's going to be the Hatterene that gets blown up. Uh, same with Sceptile and the Rotom. He goes for Will-O-Wisp. Interesting. And it hits. We go for the Fury. We still do good damage despite the burn. Now, not wanting to um, take another hit or take some chip from the vault switch, we switch to our. Um, what do you call this? Our Altaria. And we go for the heal bell here. I know he could go for the steel move, and um, I'm hoping that we can survive that. I didn't really. I, I play some bulk on this one, but I'm not sure it could. And he goes for a dragon dance. Now, that's gonna be very scary. And it goes for a second one as we go for the Earthquake here. Now the reason I go for the Earthquake is I wanted to see what set he is. If he is running the... Uh, what do you call that? The Weakness Policy. And I know maybe we could have lost already at that point. But I felt like it was a risk uh, worth taking. But he reveals to be Leftovers. We go Silvalli Poison here and he's already at plus 3. That's fine. Uh, we can go for a Toxic or not Toxic. A T-Wave here. That will neuter its speed and then one of our mons can potentially outspeed. Not really, but it is what it is. He goes for EQ. Gets the kill. We have type null here. We are bulky enough to live any hit. Surprisingly does less damage than I thought, so that tells me it's really bulky. Probably has barely any special attack or any attack. We go for a U-turn here, going to Arceus. I'm not sure that was the correct play, maybe going to Hoopa would be better uh, now that I think of it. I, I really should have calc that to see if Hatterin had investment. I just took it as an opportunity to uh, possibly set up here. Uh, but not wanting to overpredict, we go for the Iron Head and we go for the sub. T-Wave misses as we read that perfectly. Necrozma comes in as we go SD. We're in a decent position here, not necessarily good. We go for an EQ, we got good damage here. As he goes EQ. Now, I kinda wanted to sub here, but I didn't wanna risk lowering our HP more, so I just go for the EQ, and he reads that perfectly with Rotom. Rotom is getting more HP back here. Goes for a Vault Switch, and he goes to Raboot. And Raboot is revealed to be Scarf. That is a huge problem. A huge problem as we go for the EQ and we miss again. So we're not really making the correct reads here. Um, I'm not sure what to do at this point. So we just go for an higher head. Hope for some flinch. 
no flinch. Don't really have RNG on our side here. We go to rant and go for the max um, max knuckle. Hopefully it does good damage. Yep. Goes for the willow. Uh, we do have the berry for that, so that's fine. And we can probably go for a max air here to get some speed. So the what do you call this? The septile doesn't outspeed. Now my concern here was he may be able to if he's running what do you call this move if he is running heat wave he could kill us here depending on his, his investment so just go for the bug move to guarantee whatever comes in if he switches dice so it dies septile goes down it's 4v4 but we don't have our maximum anymore and rabut maxes we go for the stomping tantrum unfortunately we don't get the kill um, I checked the calcs afterwards and we did have a 43% chance to Oko it, but we didn't get that. And it, here it will come to play the weaknesses of this team, having a lot of mons that don't have items. Because we could have easily brought a mon that had like Rocky Helmet to deal with the Raboot, as well as the other mons actually. He has a lot of mons that have contact moves, the Blissey, the Raboot, the... Across my if it goes for the steel move. Uh, knowing he needs the Rabo to deal with the Hoopa, he switches to Hatterene, takes the return. Takes the second return. We do a lot less. Well, not a lot less, but we do less damage there. He makes a read thinking we'll go to Sil Valley, but we uh, we just take the kill there. He goes to Necrozma here as we DD up. And he smartly goes for the Morning Sun. I was hoping he would go for the... Actually, I misclicked there. That was supposed to be um, a return or an EQ. And if that EQ hit, we could have placed the, the Necrozma in range. Rabbit comes in with Daito U-turn because it is four times weak. Necrozma comes in here. It goes for a DD as we go for a T-Wave. That's fine. Um, I think, I'm not sure if I went for a U-turn there or went for a punishment. I don't remember. He's full right now. Go for the Fury. We take him down to 19. Um, that could have been a roll if we... Uh, well, yeah, it's gonna be GG. It's Luka. Amazing game. Really tough to deal with this Necrozma set because... Yeah, its ability just to nullify super effective moves, it's, it makes it so hard to deal with. Um, one of the things to note here is the... Yeah, he did a good job preserving the Raboot because the Raboot would be his endgame um, win con. And if we got the EQ off on the Necrozma, we could have killed him with the Hoopa, making the loss just 1-0. But you know, losing 2-0 isn't really, you know, an, an upset or what. This will be our first loss, and props to Luca for prepping amazingly. And uh, that will be the game. Uh, if you like the content, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers!